So for number 27, I have to draw these curves and then find the um, area between them. So we are considering x greater than 0. So let's draw this out. Um, the first curve is y is equal to 1 over x. So this is your uh, standard rational curve. Um, let's just plot a few points over here to make our lives easier. OK, so we have the point 1, 1, 2, 1 half, 3, 1 third, um, 1 half, 2, and so on. So this is a curve that looks like that looks like this. And this is the curve y is equal to 1 over x. Um, let's draw the next curve, which is just y equals x. Um, this is just a straight line passing through 1, 1 and the origin. So it goes like this. This is um, y equals x. And now, lastly, let's draw the curve y equals 1 fourth x. This is also a straight line that goes through 0, 0. But it goes through the point four one one two three four one, so it goes through about here. This is y is equal to x over four. Um, so we can see here that the area between these curves is this little um, kind of triangular section, right? Um, now. It is, this is kind of a difficult problem to do because we do not consistently have the same um, upper function. So at around here, and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll draw this dotted line, at around here, the upper function changes because to the left of this dotted line, the upper function is the one in light blue and the lower function is the one in pink. And to the right of this dotted line, the upper function is the one in green, and the lower function is the one in pink. So we do have to find um, <clears throat> this point of intersection so that we can set up the, uh, the first integral. So to find this point of intersection, let's set x is equal to the green curve. So the blue curve is equal to the green curve, because that way we can find um, this point over here in orange, which will be the bound of our first integral. So to find this, I basically multiply both sides by x. So we have x squared is equal to 1. Um, and we can clearly see here that the answer is 1. Um, minus 1 is also an answer, but since we're only looking at the positive side, we will not consider that. So the first integral is the integral from 0 to 1 of what is the upper function. The upper function is the blue one, so x minus the lower function, x over 4 times dx. So that is one of our integrals. But we do have a second integral, right? We have a second integral from the orange point all the way to the, let's draw it in a different color, all the way to the pink point over here. Now, um, in this interval, the upper curve is the green curve and the lower curve is the um, pink curve. But we don't know where the green curve and the pink curve intersect. We do know the orange point that we used it, um, which is the lower boundary, right? It begins at one, but let's find out the upper boundary. So what we're gonna do is let's erase this and now we're going to set the, um, the green curve equal to the pink curve. So we have 1 over x is equal to uh, x over 4. So let's multiply, um, let's cross multiply, right? So we cross multiply here and here. So that gives us 4 is equal to x squared. And thus x is equal to plus or minus 2. Now we're not interested in the negative root. Um, because we're only considering the case from uh, x bigger than 0. So our solution is that x is equal to 2. 
And now this integral, the upper function is the green one. So um, one over X and then minus the lower function minus X over four, all of this times DX. Um, all right, so let's, let's integrate this. So this is equal to X squared over two minus X squared um, over eight from zero to one. Um, here, we're just going to plug in the upper boundary. We don't care about the lower boundary because it's zero, so everything is going to go to zero. So this, this is just one half minus one over eight, which is, uh, is equal to, let's see, minus one over eight. Yeah, this is equal to three eighths. So that's the result of our first integral. Now let's do our second integral. Um, so for this one, we have ln of x minus x squared over 8 evaluated from 1 to 2. So when we apply the boundaries here, let's see. That is, let's apply the upper boundary. So that is ln 2 minus 2 squared over 8. Um, so that is minus 4 over 8, which is minus 1 half. And then minus ln1, ln1, and then lastly, minus minus 1 over 8, plus 1 8. Um, so now when we join everything, let us join, um, let us join this with this, because we're joining both the integrals. So the area is equal to 3 eighths. Um, and I'll just put the numbers to one side and the LNs to the other side, minus one half plus one eight, and then plus LN two minus LN one, which is equal to, well, the numbers, they give us three eighths plus one eighth, which is one half, right? Four over eight minus one half. So that's zero. So this is just zero plus LN two, and then minus ln1. Minus ln1 is just minus zero. So our final answer, it is just um, ln2. So I hope that you guys were able to see how we got to this answer. We just drew the curves and then we saw that we had to split up the integrals um, because the upper boundaries changed, right? And then to find the new boundaries, we just set the equations equal to each other so that we could find their point of intersection.